guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today we'll be learning how to draft the basic bodies for a baby dress if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel this is the time to subscribe and turn up the notification button so in drafting a baby bodies the simple measurement you need is the shoulder of the child the chest of the child the round chest of the child the half length at least one and a half inch above the child's novel the waist of the child and the length of the gown but today we are not drafting a dress we are just drafting the basic bodies just is the upper bodies so in this tutorial we will be needing our measuring tape a pair of scissors your ruler a drafting paper the scissors pen marker anyone that works for you so I've got the three of them here because I don't want any disappointment so I wanted to see everything I'm going to be on this paper now without talking let's too get started so friends the first thing I would do here this is already a straight line I don't know can you see this now this is a straight line so the first thing I want to draft is the shoulder of this child now the measurement I'm using the shoulder of this child is 8 her bust measurement is 20 her waist is 20 and her half length is 8 inches now let me show you that now I have my measuring tape here I'll be using the side to place at the edge of my paper so I will the, the shoulder of this child is 8 inches so 8 inches divided by 2 is going to give us 4 so I mark my 4 here plus I will take extra um, one inches for sewing allowance that's making it five so I'm taking five inches then I have all length so where my shoulder measurement stops I place my tape and keep it straight then I'll measure the armhole length now the armhole length is the shoulder of this child which is four plus the extra one inch we took we'll mark it here. so where this 5s is where i will measure the chest of this child now for this measurement the chest of the child is 20. to be sure of my measurement i will also take five here so let me draw a straight line So I have the chest measurement. The next thing I want to measure is the half length of this child. So I place my measuring tape at the beginning of my measuring paper. Then I measure the half length of this child. So the half length of this child is 8 inches. Now 8 inches plus 1 inch sewing allowance. That is 9 inches. So. To be sure that I get a straight line, I put my tape here, then I measure 9 inches. Over here, I measure 9 inches. Then I draw a straight line. Make sure your lines are straight. I draw a straight line. So, um, I'm going to still use my marker for this so that you see what I am drawing. I'll use my marker. Okay, this is better. Good. So, I have here my chest measurements and my half length. 
so i want to take the proper measurements remember we have measured our shoulder here and this is our armhole length which we took which is five inches can you see this is our armhole length our chest measurement and our half measurement so the next thing i want to do right now is to measure the neck of this child so for this child i'll be using two and a half by two and a half inches so i'll place my tape at the beginning of my pattern paper then i draft two and a half by two and a half this is for a two year old child two and a half by two and a half but if you want the neck to come down a bit you can use two and a half by three inches but i want to use this because by the time i will turn it i will have three inches wide and three inches depth so this is fine for me then i curve it i'm doing a freehand sketch if you have your french curve kindly use it So the next thing I want to do is to slant my shoulder. So I'll be slanting my shoulder by half inches. So I place my tape over here where my shoulder is and I measure half inch, then I slant it. Yeah, let me use my marker for the neck so you can see it perfect so i have slanted the shoulder and i have curved the neck inches two inches wide two and a half inches wide and two and a half inches depth so the next thing i want to do is to take my chest measurement the chest of this child is 20 and 20 divided by 4 will give us what? 5 inches. So I'll go ahead and measure my 5 inches here plus 1 and a half sewing allowance, which is here. Then I'm doing a freehand sketch. Then I place my tape here and make 1 inch, 1 inch. That's where. Now, because this is the front bodies, you measure your, your shoulder, you measure your shoulder and come in by, measure the half, the half of your shoulder, then you come in by one quarter. So, I'm going to come in this way and out. Let me use my marker so you can see so you call then you come out of your one quarter inches you took then you come back this is very easy to do i hope you can see that this is very easy to do so the next thing i'm going to measure is the waist remember the waist of this child and the chest is the same thing it's just a little baby so I'll also be measuring 5 inches here plus one and a half sewing allowance which is here. Now because I want the waist to be a bit fitted, so I'm going to come in by half an inch. So I will take just one inch sewing allowance because I want it to just have that a little bit of girly shape you know so let me join it together i'll use my marker and join it together so that you can see the the shape now can you see this it's giving us that girlish shape a bit so I came in here by half an inch, but here I took one and a half inch sewing allowance, but on the waist, one inch sewing allowance. So this is all for the front bodies. So I'm going to cut this out 
then show you how to cut the back bodies so let's do that quickly So I'll cut out, I'll slant the shoulder, then my neck. Now can you see our is ready. So the next thing I want to do is to trace out the back body. This is very, very easy to do. All you need to do is you place your front body is this way then you give your zip allowance now for this i am using one inch zip allowance it's a baby dress so one inch zip allowance is perfect so let me draft that first from top here this is a straight line one inch one inch one inch one inch one inch then i use my ruler then mark as so you can see the line i have drafted now i'm very sure you can see the one inch zip allowance here let me write it zip allowance you can see the one inch zip allowance here so the next thing i'm going to do is to place the front bodies now we are the neck can you see the neck this is the middle of your dress the middle of the upper body this is where you will place close to the zip allowance can you see that now you can pin this over or you place something on it so that it doesn't shift then you draft out your back bodies let's quickly do that so now the front and the back neck is the same thing i am still using two and a half inches wide and two and a half inches depth so let me trace that quickly Now can you see we have our back bodies all I need to do is extend the neck to the zipper to the zip allowance which I have done so all I need to do is cut it out very very easy to make so let's do that right away Please don't cut out your zip allowance. Don't cut this place out. My back bodies is out and this is my front bodies can you see let me place it this way now this is the front bodies can you see the neck the armhole and the half length and this is your back bodies this is very easy to make and i'm sure some, someone is looking at me and asking 
why is there no that come on what is that that's are meant to give fitted on dresses so babies have no boobs they don't have breasts so that is why i don't ruin my baby dress putting that so you don't need that for this tutorial so go ahead and draft your baby bodies just like this without that thank you very much and see you in our next youtube video bye remember to subscribe and click on this on the bell button and give us a thumbs up if you like this video if you have any comments or challenges kindly drop it on the comment section thank you very much and see you next week